Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of my Project Ozone 2 Reloaded Kappa Mode Let's Play. Ah, been a productive day. Right, where was I? Oh yeah, I was over here doing the sifting routine. So, I've got that set up now and it's sifted away. This watermill is now easily producing enough power for this. Got another transfer node onto there, got gold chest just drawing all this in a moment. It is producing a ridiculous amount of iron, I've already uh, taken some of that out. I also put a crucible in because we need a lava source and that is full at the moment. So that's good, but yeah, look at all this stuff coming in. Five diamonds already, ten platinum ore, that's going to come in handy later. Yeah, shouldn't really need to mine for too much other than the weird stuff like titanium and stuff, but that we're away away from having the tools for that at the moment. So, yep, that's what I've been doing with that side of stuff. Um, also, yeah, we needed to start thinking about obsidian. So, obviously, with lava, we need somewhere to store the lava, so I've been using these Billcraft tanks, which is fine. Oh, yeah, look at that. Blood Moon. As soon as I start recording. Haven't had any for ages. Never mind. It doesn't matter. We're inside and we're behind iron doors, so it's safe. Right, so yeah, the problem with these Billcraft tanks is they don't keep their inventory when you break them. So I'm not going to be breaking them. But one good way to make uh, obsidian is through the smeltery. So all I have to do is break that and break that. And one thing I have noticed, I haven't got a water source. I'm just going to make one for the moment whilst this blood moon's up. Let's see if I can make this quickly. Ender pearls are slowly, slowly coming on now. Shouldn't be too long, hopefully. Right, let's get inside before this blood moon really kicks in. Right. So, I've also got a fluid transfer node here. If I stick that on the bottom of there, I'll drain any fluids so I put water in and I put some lava in like that and we get obsidian two ingots is one block Bam. just like that and that's how we're gonna get our obsidian As you can see I already tested one block we've got two blocks So it is a case of waiting for ender pearls now. That's an issue. But as I was saying about the iron, the iron we've been hammering from the dust and look, there's already a stack and a half nearly of iron or dust from the iron we've taken out of that um, sieve. So we ain't gonna run low on iron for a long time now. And um, I believe I could just flick this off with a redstone signal. I'm just gonna check that actually. A stick and a bit of cobble maybe is it cobble still that's the question yep now will this work has that stopped it no it has not <laughs> Can't put the lever on it. Hmm. So I can't stop it that way. Can I stop it this way? Here. It's on. No, that doesn't stop it either. Interesting. Well, it will stop itself once the chests are full and so I may just, you know, it's like free energy and free cobble and I'm not too worried about stopping it at the moment, I guess. 
So that's alright. Oh god, look at all them mobs outside. It's ridiculous, these blood moons. Right, anyhow, I can break all that off in a minute. And put this back. As it was. Yep. A little bit of lava in there, which is reasonably annoying, but doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so it is a case of waiting for these ender pearls now, because it's all about getting this QED to get to the next sort of phase one of the grind. Ender diamonds, see I need a ton of ender pearls. Or 8, 12, burn quartz is an issue. I mean, It is extra utility stuff, so uh, extra new Slightly larger chest. Yeah, so I'm gonna need them Ender Flux crystals as well, which means I'm gonna need some blaze powder. Which I get from sieving dust. That's okay. These diamond etched computational things are going to be a pain. Well, maybe not. It's just these ender diamonds that are an issue. The amount of ender pearls I'm going to need. I'm just wondering whether it's a better idea to go to the nether first. Whilst I'm worried about. Because it's going to take ages to get enough ender pearls. So, I mean, how many buckets of. Got seven buckets there. Give me seven, nine. If I get one more bucket of lava. And then when it gets to the daytime, I can get the water. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I should really put a water source in here as well. I'm kind of getting that feeling. Nice drain. Yeah, it is slowly draining into there. That should give me 8,000 millibuckets and a bit because of that extra 85. There we go. So, just waiting for night now, in the morning. I might go down and do a quick bit of mining whilst I'm waiting for the stupid blood moon to finish. I'm hoping this pick will level up to the next mining level with the next experience upgrade. Hoping. I do need another bricks to be able to make the blast furnace so I can make steel and then if this doesn't level up then I could just use a steel pick and that will level up. That'll be enough to mine most things. Let's go this way. It does have two haste modifiers on it now, which is nice though. So with a bit of vein mine in it, um, yeah, ruins everything. Sorry for showing you a bit of mining, but there's not much else I can do in the night time, especially when it's a blood moon. Oh, 
a long way down. Definitely don't need cobble anymore. How are we doing? 685 out of 951. We're close. So far I can, but don't really want to. Oh, I can mine Oops. Osmium now, that's good. about that thorium stuff at the moment we'll be looking at that at a much later date magnetic craft of course if it's in my way I'll mine it let's take that electrotine there's more diamonds there for later Not gonna need coal anymore as we're sieving it. Okay, we're back to daytime. Tin ore! I've been looking for that for a long time. And there we go. So at level 10 but it has now got <clears throat> lapis on it too which is fine so I'm gonna get rid of all the cobble oh we got some zinc ore too okay so back up I go I mean this pick is great except for mining diamonds now Item, repair material is iron, so <clears throat> all the way back up the stairs. stuff do you probably you that's a new ore oh yeah handed in a quest and got soapy water super soapy water and a bar of soap random but hey but also got a quarter of a heart, so four of them, and I get an extra life, which is good. Also, got a loot bag from killing a mob, which had some good stuff in. More chance cubes, more seeds. Got four of them chance cubes now. 
Weeds, pumpkin seeds. To craft, we'll get to that at some point. We're soon because we need that to get into mechanism. Okay, so let's do this. Get in. There we go. Right. So now we can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and that is eight obsidian. So now we can make our nether portal. Hopefully, I hope they haven't changed flint and steel. Oh, of course they have. Mechanism and of all boys the dust. for brick to make the blast furnace. Liquefactic coal. Oh, I can put coal into the smeltery. Okay. Iron. That's interesting. Okay. That makes it bit easier. So let's try this out. Okay, so liquefactic doesn't. So it needs to be pulverized or coal powder. Stone. Hmm. Crushed 
Pressure, Pulverizer, Sack Mount. I bet the Sack Mount SP has uh, been nerfed as well. Yeah, it's QED. Crusher. Ugh. Steel. Never caught or Civ Soul Sand. Let's do it, but I guess if I can still. Can't do that with barrel crafting. Ah, how am I gonna get this? Pulverized coal. Let me have a look. I need to find some Certus Quartz, is what I need to find. Pretty desperately. To be able to do this. Ugh. How are we doing over here now? Ah, they're doing. No, and there's no all dictionary converter. So I need this never quartz or, or certus quartz. some digging for that though. Anyway, may as well get ready for it for the last bit of this episode. Some weird texture for obsidian. Can I do a tiny TNT in there? Oh, that requires quartz dust. Ugh. It's 
So what it becomes down to is the fact that I just have to find some Certus Quartz. There's no two ways about it. Got five minutes or so left of this episode, so let's see if we can find some quickly in one of the caves. I just have no idea what level it spawns at. Especially in this pack. Seems diamonds seem to spawn everywhere. <clears throat> Now, was there a cave this way? I think there was. Yeah, there's that titanium stuff. We're going to need that soon. I mean, we can have a look around. <clears throat> Oil source. Whoa, that was a lot of stuff. I very mind it and it disappeared. <laughs> Probably should have done that, but hey. Gotta learn somehow. Come on, just a bit of Certus Quartz, that's all I need. I need three Certus Quartz. Yeah, does it look like it's going to happen this episode, guys? It's a shame. Oh well, back up home. I've just got to figure out which way I came. That way. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's get a lot of 
more stuff put away. Oops, redstone coal. And that's it. So thank you for watching again. Hopefully next time I'll have more to show you. And see you next time.